Hello YouTube, I custom iPhone here. Today I will be showing you how to fix the blue screen of dead on your iPhone 5S. You're probably wondering why am I getting this after repairing my screen for the first time. Or for those who have experienced already, I will also be explaining how this happened and solutions how to fix this. Now on this picture, I want you guys to read it carefully so you guys can understand. Just in case you forgot, if you put any of these screws where the orange screw goes, you will damage the board and that results into a blue screen. One solution is you could avoid putting the smaller screw. Now here's the biggest mistake he made in the beginning putting them all together not knowing where which one goes where. Now this is what you have to be doing. You gotta keep them organized. You gotta keep them the same way you took them out. Now that you understand what happened and now to make sure you didn't damage the board, go ahead, pry off the screen and disconnect the fingerprint flex cable and disconnect the battery. Remove the four screws and the shield and reconnect the battery only. Don't close the screen just yet. Press the power button and count to 25. If it boots normally, you can put the screws together except for the smallest screw and it will be fine. You can now reconnect the fingerprint flex cable and close your screen and put the last two pentalope screws. For those who keep having the blue screen, continue with this video. Now that you tried everything and you're still having the blue screen, sorry, but this is the next step and this is more advanced. You might need some help by a professional. For those who know how to solder, looking through a microscope, the width of this copper traces underneath the screw nut, it's 50 microns, a little narrower than a human hair. The first step will be desoldering the screw nut and with a microscope, use a precision knife to start scraping gently on the board to expose the traces on this picture. You can see that the damage of the screw and once you start scraping off the, the board to expose the damaged traces, all you need to do is bridge the damaged traces. Use a lot of flux to make it easy and by the end, should look like this. If you need more help in micro soldering, there's a link below in the description. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. Thank you for watching.